All right. Um, we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to listen to this call. Okay. And you tell me, is this a good call or is this a bad call? Okay. Speaking of my name, how are you? I'm good. Kristen. How about you? I'm all right. I'm calling. I have a, I have a weird question for you. Um, mm -hmm. I am just kind of calling around. I woke myself up last night at like 3.30. I rolled over in bed and I was like, oh, Lord, the whole room's spinning. I think I just gave myself some vertigo. <laughs> um, oh, no. And mm -hmm. I know. And I've got a major ski trip planned um, leaving this Saturday early, early in the morning. Um, mm -hmm. So that those two things don't work together very well. <laughs> it's not very safe. Um, do you guys have any availability tomorrow to do a quick vertigo treatment? Um, let's see. I do have, um, I do have an open spot and it's the only one left. Are you a new patient with Atlas? Yeah, I, I, I'm new to the area and I just am like calling around to see what to do just in case if I wake up tomorrow and it's still like this, I'm like, oh gosh, mm -hmm. I can't go see this. <laughs> oh yeah, I understand. Okay, so, um, what would happen is it would have to be an initial evaluation with one of our doctors. So um, tomorrow, the only one that we have is 7.30 a.m. with Dr. Shoot, I've got a meeting at 8 p.m. that's in person, or 8 a.m. that's in person. Um, ah, yeah, so, okay. yeah, because um, a session would take normally, like, um, at least an hour, give or take, especially with the first session. Yeah, okay. Um I'll give I'll keep calling around. Thanks so much for looking. Sure thing, no worries. Have a great rest of your day. You too. Bye bye. All right. So type in the chat. What would you do differently? What would you do differently? Type in the chat. I love I love all that stuff in there, you know? All right. Yeah, because if it was if you if you were to answer it'd be very different, you know, right? It's kind of like what happens is like when a patient comes to you on like um, the first assessment, you know, what would you do different? Like, how do you start that report? You know, right? And so, like, I think this is important. You know, like number one is when it comes to like, you know, like once again, um, um, um. Number one is that like, did we like, did we connect with them? You know, do we know the patient's name? You know, like, you know, uh, did, the, did the front just talk about their name? You know, like, are we able to connect with them? You know, right? I think that's important. And then the second step, like in my CARES framework is like, did we show empathy, urgency? You know, oh my God, like, I'm sorry to hear that, you know, right? I'm sorry to hear, like, what happened? Tell me more. I'm sorry to hear you in pain right now, you know, right? Type sorry, I'm sorry in the chat, you know, right? Type, I'm sorry, you know, like if your grandma called you and they said they're in like in pain, like, what would you say? Like, I'm so sorry that you're in pain right now. Would you not say that? <laughs> like to show empathy, right? You know, oh my God, like how long have you been suffering this for? Blah, 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 right? And then like, you know, did we demonstrate like results and patient stories? Did we, did we show like social proof, you know, right? Oh my God, like we've totally like helped people with vertigo just like you, like yesterday, blah, 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 you know, you know, you know what I mean, right? And they explain to them how exactly it works and make it so it's so desirable that they actually uh, book with us, you know, right? So that, because so you don't have to shop around, you know, and to make, and to squeeze them into an appointment, you know, right? Who's noticed that like when you're patient, when you don't have no availability and like um, that you, uh, when you don't have anything in your schedule, it seems that like everyone wants to get in. Type me in the chat, right? Type, people will arrange their schedule. So, why not turn your front desk so it's all like that? Every time they call, oh my God, our schedule is so full. Let me squeeze you in in here. Like this is my only spot available. Like imagine if we trained our sales like uh, a team very different like that. Who likes that tip? Uh, give me a score of a hundred if you like that tip, you know? Pretend, you know? People will choose their schedule if you show them enough social proof on why they should do it. And like, if you only have a limited spot, it's like the grocery store. If there's only like one loaf of bread left, you know, people will buy that loaf of bread. But if you give them like a hundred loaves of bread, like different brands, no one's gonna like, it, like, you know, it's not empty. Like that's why, that's what we're seeing right now at the grocery store. If that makes sense, type in like bread in the chat. Type bread in the chat.